Hi, welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to build a food delivery landing page using Instapage. We don't need to write any code. We will be using Instapage drag and drop features and build a responsive landing page. So let's start. Okay, so we are now inside the UI store design website and here we can find a lot of free design resources. So as we can see the landing page tab is selected. So we are going to download a landing page and we will be using for this project. So this is food app landing page for Figma. I have already downloaded. So let's open it inside Figma and this is the landing page which we are going to build inside Insta page. It's already designed and this is also the responsive. So as we can see we have the mobile version is too. This is the great practice for especially for the landing pages we don't need to worry about the placement and sizing up each and every elements now it's time to export elements so first we need to select the logo click on export and select to export png and export so i have already export all the assets like this phone login home page and these elements i have already exported so now it's time to move to an insta page and start building our landing page so now we are inside insta page i have already logged in and as we can see so this is our dashboard tab is selected so as we can see create new page manage team members and view leads so right now everything is zero because we haven't created anything yet on the other side like as we can see here is the landing pages optimize the air map analytics and assets so click on assets here we can define the styles images fonts everything so first we need to click on the styles let's add our color palette first so as we can see here inside page this orange color is our primary color so let's copy the color code click on insta page click on this color add and select paste okay and also add hash so this is our primary color as we can see so we have white black and this color next we need to define the headline font so let's try if we have pop-ins let's select it and try for headline we will be using bold for paragraph we will be using montserrat as it is in our pigma document so let's select montserrat try to use regular for buttons we will also use montserrat same as a paragraph and be using bold so we have created our type also color palette it's time to upload our pavcon so for this i have already created this icon so let's click and export sometime i'm using 2x export the fav icon and upload okay so icon is also uploaded okay so we have created our colors fonts and all the favcon uploaded so now it's time to click and apply so our asset is applied now click on the images let's click on create new assets folder add and inside assets click on upload okay so now our assets are uploaded and it's time to build our landing page so let's start click on the landing pages i have already created a few landing pages and then deleted so it will show here and this is all the search for the existing landing pages but we are going to create page and uh, here is the magic part because as we can see insta page provide a huge library of pre-made templates which we can use from and also there is a lot of categories which we can select from for example app download so over is basically app download landing page and there is a lot of like daily deals case studies thank you travel booking sign up web webinar and also the website pages but for this tutorial we are going to create a blank from scratch so let's select our blank page click to create okay next we need to name it so our name is food delivery app download create page so after creating our page so this uh, pop-up will appear here we can see set our conversion goals integration script and privacy search and social also publish the page hide comments and edit the design so we are going to edit our design so let's click on this button okay so now we are inside insta page builder and on the left side as we can see we can insert any elements like block headline paragraph forms buttons images and carousel video box circle and uh, vertical line horizontal line timer and html top as we can see desktop is selected once we build our page inside desktop and then we will move to mobile and make it mobile responsive so this is a great feature now we can undo redo save and comments preview update okay on the right side we can upload page background if there is any page in background so we can define it here and our page is basically on white so we don't need any background default font is four pin we have already defined our fonts you can set any fonts here once you are in the build, uh, builder side so now let's start build our hero section so first we need to select insert block like this. select this section and click on edit block style click on background image and we have already uploaded our assets so click on insert okay 
okay once the image is uploaded let's slightly increase the height something like this before the fold so let's try something like this and now the next thing is to select again the block and click on the image this time we will upload logo so click and insert once the logo is uploaded we need to make it 64 pixel height and center line for the top spacing let's try 40 uh, yeah i think 40 is good now the next thing is to add a headline so click on headline and make it white so we have already created our color palettes which is cool center line and let's properly align it to the grid now select actual text from the figma file and face inside now h1 size uh, inside the figma is 58 so let's try to make it 58 we have 57 which is okay so let's try 57 okay now we need to specify the line height 1.4 line height is good okay so let's click on the default fonts and i can see for headline i made it extra bold so let's try bold yeah i think it's looking good now so now let's create paragraph click on paragraph first we need to make it center line make it white and also stretch the box align it to the grid now let's copy the text from the figma file paste it let's place it here okay so now it's time to create button let's select the button and insert for the height we will be using let's try 64 and for the button style click on the button color and we have already created our button text uh, sorry color so it's good practice now let's click and make it bold for the text let's type play store okay and again click on the button style corner radius let's make it fully round and slightly make it bigger something like this okay so now right click and duplicate it let's visually align it and now let's click on this and for the button color we don't need color border let's make it white fully round and button text let's try f store so this is our next button okay so now let's slightly adjust and reduce the spaces inside these two button so let's bring closer i think it's looking good now let's click on the button again and select button style um, before we change the style so let's preview and click on the preview so as we can see now everything is looking good but the hover effect is not perfect as in our style so let's update this let's click on the button button style and for the hover i think we will be using the same branding color but let's make it slightly slightly lighter color something maybe like this slight change so this is our hover effect now let's click on the free view again so now as we can see hover effect is working good and now let's work on this button so select button click on the button style and for the hover let's make it orange so let's try see if this is working i think for the border we need this color so yeah i think this is looking good instead of white so let's preview this okay so now let's first check this button which is looking good and this is also looking good hero section is now i think completed and is looking perfect now let's move to the other section let's click on this block edit i think we don't need background image so let's cancel let's click on the image this time we will need this hero section image so let's click on it and bring it here one thing i like about the insta page so we can freely move any elements which is cool feature so let's make it something like this or maybe just reduce the size slightly so it's not that much big yeah i think it's looking good make it center line the next thing is we need a horizontal line so let's click on the line make it the same width of this section four four pixel and for the border color let's copy the color from the figma file so copy and paste so this is our border i think it's looking perfect now in this section first thing we need is to bring the headline and center line for the color let's try black let's copy the text okay so for the size we have 44 inside figma so let's try 44 and line height and this is h2 so now this is h1 and this is h2 okay which is looking good but for the spacing let's try 40 so okay so now let's reduce the height of this block so maybe something like this i think 
click on the insert block and this time we are going to use template so next section this will work good for us because we need image title text and caption text but let's see other section so i think we will stick with this design so let's click and insert okay so now this block is inserted and let's click on this image change image and select the login one so this is our login and change the color of this text this will be orange text okay so now place the actual text so caption text we will try this text create an account and for the h3 let's try this text and paragraph we will be using this text so now slightly adjust the size i think let's reduce the spacing so okay so this will be h3 so let's try h3 for the size in figma file this is 40 bold so let's try slightly reduce maybe 35 okay so for the line height let's try one i think 1.4 is looking good so let's use this and let's make it so in figma file we have 24 but i think we will be using 20 20 yeah 20 is looking good but for the red let's try semi bold and for this color let's make it black and let's crop the image okay so now this section is done third section now just simply select block and click and duplicate okay so let's place it below the this block and we just need simply to drag select these three things and bring it to the left side bring the image to the right side click on the image this time we will be using home screen so let's click and insert home screen we can also change the corner radius and like stretch so the stretch is fine so we are not going to use any tile or any option so stretch is fine but let's update the text so for the orange text let's copy the text from the figma file and copy the text for the paragraph paste it here center align to maybe something like this so now it's looking perfect so this is how it works section now it's time to create our third section so we need this section so just select and click duplicate select okay so now this is duplicate we can select this section and bring it down here okay and now just simply change the image so this time we will be using payment click on insert and for the orange caption text let's try this and click on the title h3 so this will be the h3 check out for the paragraph text let's make this text and get delivered okay so now our sections are complete duplicate our top section and bring it back so let's click on this section duplicate here down and let's bring it here to the bottom click on the edit style change the image remove the logo for the text let's copy this text paste okay and for the paragraph use this text make it center line select both button and bring it to the top now let's reduce the height of this section slightly smaller something like this so now let's quickly preview the page yeah, everything is looking perfect and image is looking good text everything is looking perfect i think we have almost completed our page okay so now we need to slightly align these sections so let's copy these are right side text group it and let's both select click on alignment let's center line same thing for this select all these three text group and select with this click on alignment align it vertically now again select this section with these three text group select image alignment align it okay so now it's completely perfect align okay so now it's time to create another section so for this insert block i think let's click on insert block this time all blocks is selected let's click on type footer let's insert this footer here 
okay and now slightly adjust our footer so for the text let's bring it to the right side and for the color let's make it black size 14 is fine medium and align it okay so for the text let's copy the text from the figma file so let's click on the section insert image and we have logo so click on logo insert reduce the size click and duplicate this change the image yeah i think we can change the image so let's click on instagram and let's decrease the size slightly something like this and let's duplicate with command d change image click on facebook let's slightly bring closer okay so we have completed our desktop version now it's time to create our mobile so simply click on mobile for mobile i think it's looking good but we just we need slightly adjust spacing and elements so the first thing is we need to adjust the size here is 36 and let's try to make it 32 and for this mobile screen it's totally center line which is good and slightly increase the size for this let's make it slightly bigger okay i think it's looking good let's make it bigger also make let's bring this section slightly up let's try decrease the size so maybe we can try 30 make these two buttons bigger okay so for the footer okay so let's decrease the size so this is footer okay so now quickly review our design so let's click on the preview okay so first let's click on the desktop and as we can see desktop is looking pretty good let's click on mobile so inside mobile yeah, everything is looking perfect okay so from here we can share like you can just copy the link and share it with the other people so they they can preview or we can again let's go back and go to the builder dashboard so now it's time to quickly just discuss these few things here is we can set our conversion goals so for example in this page we want user to download app so go to the app store so here we just need to one page click on the link or there is also no link so we don't need we know we need external url so for example if you want user to click on the button and download the app from the app store so here we can click and place the app store link here okay and let's from here uh, inside social as you can see we can title of the page so here we can type food delivery app download from here we can define the keyword like and also we have uploaded our favicon social link here for example the facebook twitter and click on the save we can again click on the preview our page is now ready and here is our page food delivery app download everything is looking perfect now we don't have uh, any domain right now so we can't publish it in our own domain so here we can just publish it on insta page and url will be slightly different but we can use it because this is the landing page so and also if you have domain so you can see the documents on the insta page and upload it to your own domain